months. I don't think we ever had a special needs cow until we met Willy Wonky. We had to kind of turn this entire house around to meet his needs. We noticed he can't get in and out of a litter box. We do have to fly him in, kind of just be there with him. We have hardwood floors, so we have like runners around so that there's rugs that keep them fling off. If they do fling off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When we do feed them, it's like we have to place it strategically. Like a little stall that he walk into and the bowl is elevated for them. He can't fall over to their side. <laughs> Making a mess. Willie did change our world. We had to make a lot of adjustments, but it's well worth it. He just was so full of life despite his disabilities. <gasps> what are you doing? He's just so spunky. Yeah. Always trying to play with the other cats. <laughs> That's not very nice, William. He loves attention. Are you waving? Say hi, friends. He just loves laying on your chest and, and snuggling. We ended up just adopting him. Oh. He smells like meat. <laughs> hi, Charlie. A friend of mine reached out to me about a shelter needing help with placement of a wobbly cat. What do you think, Williams? He was the cutest thing I'd ever seen and he got along with Willie so well. They are with each other all the time, and Charlie loves to groom Willie. He loves to sleep next to him. He loves to play with him, and it's it's the sweetest thing to watch. Hey, 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 gentle, gentle with your brother. About a month and a half later, he joined our family. Willie, have you heard the news? He's staying forever. I definitely went into this feeling a lot more confident with taking on another special needs cat. Special needs animals don't know that they're any different and can provide so much love and care. Hi, Charlie. I think my home will be open to many more special needs animals because my husband and I can't imagine our lives without them.